everyone, thank you everyone for coming, joining us on our another beautiful shiur, Zera Shemshon, Parashat Yitelo. This shiur should be Lelu Nishmat. Rav Shimshon Chaim, Ben Nachman Michael Nachman, is a chutoy again alenu. And Hashem should send Besorot to what? To every family who needs Besorot to what? And of course, soldiers and hostages should return home safely. And thank you all for coming. Open miracles should be in your houses as well. Amen. I would like to say a special thank you to one person you don't know him. His name is Nabi Abraham Aminov. He supports constantly Sha'ala Eliyahu Hashem should give him Barakha Tova. Barakha Vaslacha Ocheni Ratsovan Amen. Amen. And uh, we should all dance soon in his wedding, Be'ez Amen. Amen. <coughs> and I want to say special Mazal to a young kid over here. His name is Yair. His brother had breed exactly last week on Tuesday. Uh, they named him Yaakov Ari. Ari. Okay, Ari. today they sent some nice whiskey and we opened for everybody to drink. Guys, take. Make sure it finishes today. Okay, for the Fuash Nemas, Lacharaba to this baby boy, should become big Talmud Chacham. Amen. 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 His brother also should be Talmud Chacham. Amen. He's a good kid. <coughs> okay. Midrash Pelea. Letter Yud Aleph. If you want in life to be successful, I want you to go over through this shiur at least three, four times. At least. Because it will change your life. I'll tell you, last week on Shabbat, I was in Miami. On Shabbat, I read a certain story. And that story was to the place, like as if Hashem spoke to me. And then I understood a reason why I had to be there for Shabbat, why it happened. I'm going to go detailed, explain this all on Shabbat, because I want my community to hear it. But I'll tell you, wherever you are, in any situation Hashem puts you, there's something for you to learn from this. I was in a shul. I felt what every congregation, any congregant comes to my shul first time, what he feels, this is what I felt. Hashem made me feel that way. Then I saw kids, in certain minyan I prayed over there, I saw kids, more than 16, 18 kids were there praying. Few of them only were holding Sidur in their hands. Few remembered to pray Shemona Yisrael. Few remembered to pray Bichlal. Others were sitting and talking like, as if they're sitting in a park. But even with all that, I saw something unusual. A grandfather, there was a bar mitzvah, a grandfather of bar mitzvah boy taught his seven grandchildren, each grandchild one aliyah. Bar mitzvah boy read Kohen, all the other boys read different aliyot. I was shocked, I was like, wow, Hazakim Baruchim. I mean, again, in any situation you look at both ways, but I'll tell you, I learned from there, for myself, a life lesson. Where, when it comes to this generation, young guys, young children, you have to have a lot of patience. You have to have a lot of patience. Without patience, you can't. Especially the generation. You don't want to make like rapid action and then you're grateful life. No anger. No uh, fast, fast, uh, active fast and action and then you, then you regret. You have to calm down, relax. Think through. Your one mistake you cause one kid to stay away, this one kid will get married, you push one family. In five generations, you pushed one community. In ten generations, one city, and goes on. So therefore, it's important to be calm when it comes to our children, when it comes to grandchildren. Now I'll start Midrash with you. <coughs> This beautiful Zed Shimshon, I'm sure his Neshama now enjoying that we're learning this Torah. You should know, Allah learning is important. We learned today, one hour almost Allah It's important. 
but make sure halachot learning changing you who you are. It's not book of knowledge. You knowledge and I will act like animal. You know, no, no, no. Torah learning changes you who you are. You become better person. You become better you. So today, one more time. This Zera Shimshon, I'm going to go with you a little bit slow. I'm going to finish by 10 o'clock exactly. What's that, 40 minutes? 40 minutes. But it will change your life. And you should know, I'm not adding nothing for myself. All here. And please, take one statement from the shiur with you, and you have one week to at least 20 people you should spread it. Because if you learn something today, Hashem wants you to learn this. And I told you, on Shabbat, I went through certain process in my life. It was such an enjoyable experience to learn what it means when you're somewhere, nobody knows you. You and Hashem, you're with your wife, you experience something new. All kinds of people, very religious, very not religious. Hashem puts you to see the world, how you should act in your community and outside of your community to make sure you bring people closer and not further. This is important key to learn. And now I'll start the Zer Shimshon because this Zer Shimshon today, it, I couldn't understand the last 10 lines. I almost had tears. I had such a, wow, Hashem is so merciful. Hashem loves us so much. Do you know because of you the world is standing today? Do you know because of you the world is standing today? Because of each one of you, the world is standing today. The world, I'll prove it to you and I'll show it to you. It's not that I'm saying something, oh, I know, and I keep couldn't fall asleep yesterday, and now we may, no, I learned it today. Four or five hours before the Hashem Shon class, I learned it, and I read it six times over to make sure I read good. Oriel, did, did you know that the world is standing today because of you? Do you know that? Do you know today thousand soldiers came back home life because of you? Because you came to school, school today, you heard somebody say, Baruch you said, Amen, because of you, thousand boys came back home life. Mr. Wolf, Shalom Wolf, thank you, came from Ukraine. You know how many Jewish people fighting for their life in Ukraine right now? They came back same, safe home today because of him. He drove from Brooklyn right now to Queens just to come to Shur. He's going to say three words of the Torah. He's going to learn three words of the Torah. Thousand people saved, minimum, maybe million, saved because of him today. Because of each one of you, the world is... Do you hear me? I'll prove it to you. You ready? I want you... Why am I saying this a little bit strict? Because we don't know our volume. We don't know our values, what we can do. If we would know, we would be like crazy magnet giving energy to everybody. Okay? Let's go. Midrash Pelea. It says in Midrash Pelea, Allah Moshe Lamanom, and Moshe Rabbeinu went up to Shamayim. Hashem is giving soon Moshe Rabbeinu the Torah and Hashem says Chava Chava, whose name is Chava? Adam Arishon's wife. wife Moshe Rabbeinu says Hashem, Chava? Who is she? A person who brought death to the world? All these cemeteries because of? And you're saying her name so proud? What's going on here? Chava? Out of everybody, her? He says, Ribbona Shalom, King of the Universe. What's with Chava? Why Chava? Amalo, Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu, Ki hi haita em kol chai. Chava is the mother of all the living. <coughs> Adam Arishon, he sinned. Chava felt so guilty. She said, oh my God, because of me now, the world will begin dying. So she lost her self-confidence. Adam Arishon said, no, you am Kolchai, you're mother of all the living. Because of you, women will be giving birth and there's going to be a world. So he called her, you're mother of the mothers. She felt good. Oh my law. <clears throat> so then Moshe Rabbeinu said to Hashem, Ribona, Ribona da Alma, King of the Universe, Imken, Tikrena Chaya. Why are you calling her Chava? Call her Chaya. What's Chaya? Life. life. Giving life. 
אמר לו, חווה במספר קטן. חווה עם גימטריה of מספר קטן, small numbers, הם כל חי. She's gonna be mother of all the living. עד כאן לשונו. You know, גימטריה like this never gonna come out. חווה? מספר קטן? What's the, what's the, what's the, הם כל חי? We will never come out to this gimatria. What is going on here? והוא פלא כשמו. זה השם שעושה, this is something wondering, shocking. Like the Midrash name is פליאה? Shocking? It is shocking, it's a wondering. Unbelievable. דמה צורך לקדוש ברוך הוא לומר. חווה כשעלה משה למרום לקבל התורה. Why? Moshe Rabbeinu, when he comes to get the Torah, Hashem has to say what? Chava. Why Chava? Say Chaya, if she gives life. Why you call Chava? You know, Chava means to speak. Chava means to speak. You know, how they call women in Russian who speaks too much? Baltushka. Chava means Baltushka. Talks too much. Chava means Baltushka. Right or wrong? Chava means to speak. I'll prove it to you. Yeah, in Aramaic. Why Moshe Rabbeinu ask him? What's Chava? What's your business? Why are you asking Hashem? Why are you saying Chava? Why did Moshe Rabbeinu not know that she's called Chava because she's mother of all the living? ואין לו מה שזה ששאל לו משה היה בעת כתיבת התורה בספר בראשית. You can't say at that time משה רבנו, when he came to שמיים, השם was writing בראשית and he said חווה. You can't say that. כשהגיע לכתוב חווה, when השם was writing חווה, this was משה רבנו appear at that time. ואם כן, לא היה לו להקשות אלא כושי אחרונה. If so, משה רבנו could have asked different question. אם כן, תקראנה חיה So Hashem, don't name her Chava, name her Chaya. The Akrok Ketiv, Ki Hi Hayta Im Kol Chai, because she's the mother of all the living. So Chaya, Kol Chaya, mother of all the living. Why Moshe Rabbeinu is asking Hashem, why Chava? Why not Chaya? And what is that connection? Chava, small number. So what is that connection? Chava, small number. So what is that connection? Chava, small number. Mother of all the living. Why to say all this? I know it's a little bit boring. Next 10 minutes is going to be boring. But when you get the answers, you will wake up. For now, I want to repeat. Moshe Rabbeinu came to Shammai. What did Hashem say? Chava. He said, why? She's living. Oh, kol chaya? No, that's mispah katan, chava. V'yuman b'may adam l'yem b'midlash rabba. And we know what it says in midlash rabba. Al pasuk. Hashem said, so say to the Bet Yaakov, house of Yaakov, who's that? Elu Hanashi. They are women. Bet Yaakov, this is a yeshiva for the boys. You will never find Bet Yaakov yeshiva for the boys. Bet Yaakov means the house of Yaakov. House, the foundation of the house, who? Wife. So house means wife. Belam Hanashim Tehillah. Why in the beginning starts from women? Why Torah starts from women first? Bet Yaakov. Then it says Bnei Israel, because woman is the main person who educates their children to, to the Torah. It's not men who educates. Men take him to the shul, go, come. Yes, but the main factor why the child becomes Talmud Chacham is because of mother. So they should raise their kids in Torah. When Moshe Rabbeinu came to Shammayim, he saw Hashem saying what? Chava. He saw Hashem saying what? Chava. He saw Hashem saying what? Chava. He saw Hashem saying what? I'm giving the Torah for the woman first. Moshe Rabbeinu said to Hashem, What is Chava? What is Chava? כלומר, למה לנשים תחילה? Why women first? Why giving Torah to the woman first? If man has to keep so many mitzvot. אמר לו, כדאי הייתה אם כל חי. כי היא הייתה אם כל חי. Because she's mother of all the living. 
בשביל שמגדלות ביניהן לתלמוד תורה, because she raising her children to become תלמידי חכמים, ועל זה נקראת אם כל חי, therefore she is called mother of all the living, כדאמרים בפרק ה' הכתובות, it says in פרק ה', chapter 5, גמר כתובות, פרק 61a, מנין שעולה אימו ואינה יורדת, look at this, אפרים, you are getting married to a girl, you have in your house, You have in your house, <coughs> Ephraim, you have in your house three maidservants. Your wife comes from the family when they have only one maidservant. After the marriage, she's becoming in your status three maidservants, or she remains in her status one maidservant. Bukhari and Zilo, you're right. But I'm talking about his status. He's, he's, he's Americanized. Huh? One. Halakha says, she goes up with him, but she doesn't go down. Means no more one, three maidservants. She goes up with him. High class now. How they say, Bukhan, Shmo, Shmo. Rabbi Elazar Amar, Tihi ha'ita em kol chai. Rabbi Elazar said, because she's mother of all the living. L'chaim nitna v'lotzan l'tzad nitna. Means she's given to life and not to pain. Pirish Masha, Masha explains. Some people want to go on Zoom. One second. <coughs> Masha explains. Demit Hilakara Isha. In the beginning. She is called Isha. Recording in progress. One second, sorry. Uh, someone. Oh, thank you. Pirish Marsha, Marsha explains, Demitchila kara isha. In the beginning, Torah calls woman isha. Dichtiv lezodi kare isha. Kimesh nuka chazot. She is called isha because she is taken from a man. Hashem made Adam Arishon sleep, right? According to the walking, Hashem made Adam Arishon sleep till, till today he sleeps. He still didn't wake up. You know, Hashem says, learn Torah to wake up. You know, yes, yeah, so Hashem made Adam Arishon sleep. And from his one of the ribs he took and he made a woman. So therefore he is Ish. She is taken from his ribs. Isha. Okay. Bachar. <coughs> Shechata. And after she sinned. Chazad liknota Chava. He called her Chava. Kedesh shelo yomru sheyalda migdulata bishwil achet. So people shouldn't say woman went down on her level because of the sin. No, he called her Chava. Why? Em kol Chash is mother of the mothers, mother of all the livings. Ela afacharachet hi bigdulata. Even after sin, she's still in her great level. Bishvil sheaita em kol Chai because she was mother of all the living. She called bnei olam ba'u mimena because all the children of the world came from Chava. Came from Chava. You write from Hashem, but Hashem made come from Chava. Good job, Yair, amazing. The <coughs> kosher, and it's a little bit difficult. A person has three partners. Gemara Kiddushin, Lamed Amud Bet. Father, mother, Hashem. Hashem. Each one does one third. So if woman does one third, why you made big deal? Are a woman? Why Torah has to give first to woman? Kotomar, Lebed Yaakov, who's a woman? Why woman first? Why not man first? Why not Lu? Kol Bnei Olam Ba. Why everyone in the world is depending on the woman? We all came from woman, but she does one third. Also one third father does one third. Actually, no woman. We came from woman. Why? 
אבל הטעם הוא לפי שהשם מגדל את הבנים לתורה יותר מהאיש, because she raising her children to Torah more than men. Men could talk thousand words, woman does one word, some follows for life. Once, I saw one daily dose, who remember, it's like three years ago, daily dose were had, it says, what one mother can do, what one mother can do, hundred rabbis cannot do. Sometimes you take hundred rabbis to take care of one child, comes mother to the offices, my son. What are you doing? I'm sorry, mommy. Thousand rabbis couldn't do. Three minutes of the mother's face, that's all. He's changing. Different connection. Different connection. Okay. And explicitly says in Gemara Sanadin, chapter 2, page 19b, Shemerav yalda umichal gadla. Merav gave birth. Her children, Michal, raised. Remember today I sent you a text message? Who is considered more of a mother? The one who gives birth or the one who raises? Raises. Gemara Sanhedrin, page 19b. 19b says, Merav gave birth, Michal raised them. Venikru al Shem Michal. And all these children are called after Michal. Why? She's the one who raised. How they say in Russian? Nitot kto radil, atot kto? Vaspital. Vaspital. Okay, good. Dichtiv. Asher yalda Michal. That Michal gave birth, but she didn't. She raised them. Lachen nikru al Shem Aisha. Therefore, woman raises kids to the Torah. Therefore, all the children of Bnei Israel following their mothers and not fathers. Amar lo rebi anu shalolam im ken tikrein achaya. Moshe ben says Hashem. If all the men follow after women, right? She's raising them to the Torah. So say chaya. She gives life. Why you go call her Chava? Since woman is main factor of the world, main people of the world, call her life. Chava in a small gematria is mother of all the living. She raises kids when? When they're still child, children, small. She raises them when they're small. Guys, for now, you with me? Yes. You're not falling asleep on me? No. Not yet. Okay. In Ami, if so, So Hashem said, Hashem, if so, call her Chaya, call her living. Kilomar. So one second. If, if, woman raising kids to the Torah, why Torah didn't say to woman, go learn Torah? Why man has to learn Torah, not woman? Make sense? Why we all came to Zerashim Shon? Let woman also go to Zerashim Shon. Let woman go to Gemara class. Someone has to raise the kids, so let's man change. Uh, that simple question. I'm not giving you any ideas, guys. Don't, 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 don't jump. <laughs> I see the big Gabriel over there in the house. The big Gabriel, it's like doctor. Shalom Aleichem. Thank you for your advice. You see, I'm talking better. Thank you. He gave me good advice. Take proper medications. Rab Moshe, thank you. Brachim Abayim. Ah, Rav da <laughs> David. Brachim Abayim, brother. Shalom Aleichem. Miss Olga David of Shalom Aleichem. Sarah, Chai Sarah, Sim Chayef. I think I know her father. Shalom Aleichem, your father is a good guy, I know him. L'chaim. Banim z'charim l'avod t'oit b'alach, amen. Dikhtiv ba ki hi chayecha v'orech yamecha. By Torah says what? Ki hi chayecha, Torah is your life. V'orech yamecha gives you long life. Go sit, learn Torah. That is your life. And gives you long life. Someone goes, Rabbi, I want to live long. Go to doctor. No, go learn Torah. Learn Torah, you're going to live long. Mitama... You want to tell me men need to learn Torah to live long. Women don't need to learn Torah to live long. As Tosfot is asking in, in Gemar Kiddushin. Uh, people, there's only one sure here. As it says in Gemar Kiddushin, Tosfot. Page 34a. Amar lo. Hashem said to him, Chava be mispa katan em kol chai. 
Chava in small gematria, mother of all the living guys. It's such a, I'm sorry to say, million have the lot. I would say such a foolish statement to say, Chava, gematria, small gematria, em kol chai. You know how deep it is? It's crazy deep. I need five minutes of your patience and we're going to start giving answers right now. You will jump. Ah, it's from Florida. Mr. Sasson, Brichim Abayim from Florida. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Such a sukkud I have today. All my friends are here. Brichim Abayim, thank you, thank you. Shapasuk Shomer, ki hi chayecha vorecha When Pasuk is talking about Torah is your life and gives you long life, over there it doesn't talk about learning Torah. Eno al Torah, ela al kiyuma mitzvot. Over there it doesn't talk about learning Torah. Over there it talks about keeping the mitzvot. When you keep mitzvot, it gives you long life. What's the mitzvot? Huh? What's the mitzvot? You come to learn Torah, mitzvah. You walk to shul, mitzvah. You heard tefillin, mitzvah. You call your mother, father, hello. You heard somebody sick. Hi, how are you, Rufu Shlema? Mitzvah. Isn't a woman a vessel? So the husband learns, she also gets long life, no? Uh, you lie, you talk like this because your wife is not here. A woman a vessel, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to call her tell her this. By the way, Gemara Ketubot, page 5, talks about it. Woman is a vessel, yes. Husband can flee the vessel, yes. You're right. You're right. But listen, only people who learn Gemara talk to them. But don't, don't say this at home, please. No. <laughs> we need you still. We don't want to see the news person missing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> missing okay, uh, you're right. Let's go for it. <laughs> The Talmud Katan, Meamaser, Zera Shimshon. Rambam says opposite. Rambam says, <coughs> Torah learning brings you to action. So learning is great than action. Zera Shimshon says, no. Action is greater than learning. Why? Because learning brings you to action. So action is greater. The Talmud Katan, Meamaser, you men learning Torah, your wife is raising kids. Your wife does more than you learning. That's right. Can I read Kama? It says in Kama Baba Kama, page 17a. The Chava Ratalomar Dibur Belashon Targum. The Chava, Chava means the Hotel Omar Dibur. It's speech. Lashon Targum. She Dibur Hatorahu Katan Legabea Mase de Gidul Banim. Speaking Torah is less. Than the action of raising kids. Raising kids is greater mitzvah than speaking the learning of the Torah. Why? Because it's harder? Yes. <coughs> because that's action and he is learning. Inami. If so, guys, who's bored except for me? Everybody. <laughs> Did I promise you you're going to enjoy? Yes. yes. Put your seatbelts and enjoy. In four minutes, we're going to start throwing bombs. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll tell you, I want to say a special thank you to Michael from England. He texted me when I was in Florida. He said, I'm like, where are you? I miss you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Minu Terani from LA. Thank you. Uh, Rav Reuven from LA. Thank you. I spoke to them within a week. You know. Thank you, everyone. Because of you, we continue. Let's go further, brothers. Inami, if so. Yes, Lomar, and thank you for all who ran Sha'ari Elia without me being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Keep it up. But this week I'm here. Tough luck on you. You're not going to go home early. Speech will be longer. That's why you're done. In Ami, if so, Yes, Lomar, Shelfia, Tam, Shomera, Katuf, Kihi, Haita, Em, Kol, This is what Pasuk says. She was the mother of all the living. Haya, Loli, Knota, Chaya. Moshe Rabbein says, Hashem, call her Chaya. I call her Chava. Call her Chaya. She's living. Give her learning Torah. Give her everything. Why Chava? Aval, Mipne Shte Ta'amim Niknet Chava, Lashon Dibur. Because of two reasons, she's called Chava because of speech. Woman has speech. What does that mean? Chada, Shek She Nivret Chava, Ba Dibur Le'olam. Did you know before Chava was created, there was no speech? No talking. The world was quiet. Why? 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 Because Adam was alone. Uh, Animals cannot speak. 
Oh yeah, you're right, but he spoke to angels. Angels speaking, it's spiritual. It's not physical me talking to you. So the first person that brought speech to the world is the woman. There was another woman before that, no? Huh? We're talking about normal people here. <laughs> I know, Zohar, Lilia, Pilia, uh, <coughs> partial shot for now. Okay, we'll, we'll go to Zohar later. <coughs> Chada, first reason. Sheke she nivrat. Chava, sheke she nivrat chara when Chava was created. Ba dibur leolam. The speech came to this world. There was no speaking. How was it in Spanish? Gungianos. It was quiet. The world, nobody spoke. Chava came, start talking. Danot Kachul. Sharei, Kshaya Adam Arishon Yachid Baolam, Lo Hayaloch, Imile Daber. When Adam Arishon was alone in the world, there was no one to speak to. There was nobody there. Now she came, now Gaul Sarshu. He says two words, she says two thousand. Two thousand. When you say there was no speech, you mean there was actually no... No talking. No conversating at all. Who is Adam Hashem going to talk to? No Hashem, exactly. Hashem's talking is not talking, talking. Hashem's talking... And especially Adam Hashem was in Gan Eden. Gan Eden, there's no words like this here. Gan Eden is different words. But why would you need to talk like the way we're talking right now? Uh, Rabbi Abraham, Rabbi Abraham, you're saying something very good. My father used to say in Bukharian, I'll say it in, in English also. My father used to say, Zari Odemo Odame Bardora. The poison of person's stress only another person can take out. When I talk to you, I get relieved. Yeah, you get, you get as if you're carrying now 20 garbage pails on you, but I get relieved. Ah, you know, I go out. So when person talks, is a speech type. I said, I don't know, whatever. Okay, let's go further. Ah, there were animals. Animals don't talk. Adam, Adam and Shon couldn't speak to animals. Vim Tomas, Yeah, you spoke to angels. Zelonikla dibur. Lefisha, Yaduchani. It was all spiritual. There's not, that's not called talking. Omnam, Kshiba, Chava, Hayu, Midabrim, Yakad, Adam, Vechava. Vechava came. Adam and Chava start talking. Now they're speaking. Oh, oh, I hope women don't listen to this. Women, the one who speak too much. Baltuni, yo. Baltuski. Gemara says, not me. Zashim short. Okay. Come on, Shamru Zal. It says in Gemara Brachot, page 48b. Ulfika Kara Davka Chava. Why called Chava? Chava in Aramaic means speech. Talking too much. Chava means to speak. Let's go for it. Now, put your seat belts. I'll tell you something crazy. You should know our time. The world is standing because of? You. you. The world is standing because of me. me, that's right. Everyone should think the world is standing because of me. Big rabbis, small rabbis, yes rabbis, no rabbis, big yeshiva, small yeshiva. World is standing because of you, because of your brachot, because of your tzit, because of your kippah, because of your tefillin, because of your brachot, because of your words. Ready? I still have 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, I'll try to give it to you. But I want you to understand. You have to stop. What did I say? The world is standing because of me. That's right. So you got it? That's all. No questions. Enjoy. Vetam akatuv. And the reason that is written. Nami ati shapir. Also, we can say it right. Thank you. Thank you. Lefisha aisha melamedet umechanechet et dabanim. Why Chava is called talking? Because she is to talk and educate her children. I don't want to say oy va oy to those women who don't educate their children. We don't have like this in our community, Baruch Hashem. No. But a woman who talks to the children, believe me, the world becomes very, very, very smooth. It's important to talk to your children. Speak to your children. Mother's words can go into the foundation and change a person's life. Penetrate. Thank you. You know, some, some Bukhari women, they don't understand, so I have to say in easy English. <laughs> Go inside. Drill in. Okay? 
as we said in Gemara Sota, page 11b, Pu'a Zomiriam, Pu'a, yeah, 11b, Sota, talks all oh, Yitzhak Mitzrayim, Moshe, Miriam, everything, beautiful over there. So it says over there, Pu'a is who? It is Miriam. She Pu'a umidaberet et avelad. She was, Pu'a, pu, pu, ah, baby, you're not talking, and then she was talking to babies. Calm down, you cutie pie. No crying. Da, 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 da. Do do do. Huh? Cooing. Whatever you say. Vizeu ki hiaita em kol chai. And this is what it means. She's mother of all the living. She mechan chatam le daber. She educates them to speak. There's not only to talk. There's a way to talk. How to talk. You know the difference. You're talking to police officer. You talk bus driver. You talking to taxi driver. You talking to friend. You talking to Social security school. guard. You talking to a doctor. You know every person has a way to talk to. You don't just talk one type of everybody. It becomes problems then. It's called social skills. Social skills. I don't know. Whatever you say. I just speak. You figure out. Mm -hmm. Social skills. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm running late. My phone is going to die in seven, eight minutes. So I need to continue. All those who are tolerating me on Beyachat, on YouTube, on Zoom, live. live. I feel bad for you. Thank you. Thank you. But I hope this shiur will change my and your <coughs> and your children, my children's life by Zod Hashem. Amen. Amen. The speech is the difference between dead people and live people. You go to cemetery, you could ask a thousand questions, you're not going to get any answers, I guarantee you. Why? They don't give answers over there. They cannot speak. Dead people don't speak. Live people speak. You speak, you live. You speak to your child and you live. Tomorrow you're going to have children, speak to them. You're live. You speak, you live. Ve'ine kichena Torah. She'nim leisha. Therefore, Torah is compared to women. Kedichtiv. Eshet chayil means so some people think I don't want to sing Eshet chayil to my wife. Eshet chayil singing to Torah, singing to Shabbat, singing to your wife as well. She cooked for you. Thank you. Say thank you. I mean Baruch Hashem, we don't have people like that. just say this to make you laugh a little bit, so you shouldn't fall asleep on me. But Eshet Chayel is not only for women, it's Torah and Shabbat as well, called Eshet Chayel. Anu yucholim l'ilmod otah b'machshava u b'dibur. Torah you could learn in machshava, in thoughts, and b'dibur, in speech. Aval yoter tov hu ad-dibur shem evi chayim le'olam. But when you learn Torah and you speak, you bring life to the world. Ve'al ze amru, ki chayim hem le'motza ehem. Therefore they say, it brings life to those who find it. Le'motza ehem. Lemotziam bepe, who has life of Torah, who speaks Torah. When you read, even Shmai said, you pray at home, yeah? Before you go to sleep, you say, Now, speak. When you speak, you bring life. You learn Torah at home. You learn, you learn Gemara, Chumash, Mishnah, Lacha. You speak, you hear yourself, and you bring life. Your speech of Torah brings life. Now, this is the deep. Point. I want you to explain. Guys, I'll tell you one more time. It's not only to learn Torah. Don't get it wrong. Some people think, I know Allah, I know Gemara, I know, I know Torah. No. It's not only to learn Torah. It's the way to learn Torah. You have to become different you. You become Ben Adam. If your Torah learning happens to be done Ben Adam, you learn Torah right. You're in the right path. You will follow Derech Gedolim, you will become Gadol one day. That's the only way to learn. Vezeu, and this is what it means. Shekshala Moshe Lamarom, when Moshe Abenu went up to Shamaim, Metzahol Hakadosh Baruch Hu Shayao Mer Chava. Moshe Abenu said Chava. Moshe said Chava. Why Chava? Say Chaya. She brings life. She she brings the whole world. She gave birth to. Call her Chaya. Em Kol Chai. She brings life. No, Hashem said I want Chava. Why? Because Gimatli of Katan, Mispar Katan is. Em Kol Chai. What does that mean? That's what I mean. 
to acquire life and Torah, which is compared to women. It goes after the first woman who was created by Hashem. Who is that? That's Chava Tzadik Davka Adibur. What do you need? Speech. Chava means to speak. Kemo Chava. She'af alpi she'ayta em kol chai. Even though she was mother of all the living. Im kolze niklet chava. She's still called chava. Why? Speech. Ba'achinami. Af alpi she'at Torah yikarahi. Ha'mo'achwa ma'chashava vasvara. Even Torah. Important to learn Torah with what? With brain. Ideas. Thoughts. Mikol makom ha'dibur hu yotel chashu. But speech. It's much important than thoughts, than ideas, than all the uh, calculations. Everything's good, but speech of Torah is more important. And therefore Moshe Rabbeinu said, Libono Shelola, master of the universe. Mai Chava. Why you call her Chava? Velama Adibur Yotel Chashu. Why speaking? Chava means speech. Why you call this woman speech? Because Hashem said, speech is more important. Why speaking is more important? Question mark. Why speaking Torah is more important? You with me? Why speaking of Torah is more important? Amarlo. Because Hashem said, Kihi haita em kol chai. Because she's the mother of all the living. Shadibur. Kulam shavimbo. Speaking. Everyone speaks. Who speaks? Great rabbis, big people, old people, young people, people who don't know all of it, they also speak. Speech, everybody equal to. Everybody equal to speak. Thinking, not everybody equal. Person doesn't have a brain, doesn't think. Person cannot calculate, doesn't think. Speech, everybody could speak. Shadibur kulam shavimbo, ben amearatzot, u ben achachamim. Person doesn't know Torah, or person knows the whole Torah. They all speak. Amaret speaks and Big Tamit Ham also speaks. Ubetaftefe. Upit Patia, the orator, Tavin. It says in Yerushalmi Brachot, chapter 9, Halacha 5. The formula of my mouth should be words of your Torah. Guys. What does that mean? The formula of my mouth should be words of your Torah. Even though you're a beginner, you know only out of bed. And you even out of bed saying wrong. You're reading wrong. Hashem says, it's so sweet your words. I consider it. The wrong words that you're saying. For me, a formula of the words of the Torah. For me, it's important. The way you saying is as if like what Joseph is reading for me. Hashem says, that's important for me like that. Tavin. Hashem. The formula of my mouth. Even that saying wrong. I'm reading wrong. Today, Hazan reads, makes two mistakes. People say, hey, you read this way. Hashem says, stop. Chacham. Chacham. The formula of his mouth, for me, is the words of my Torah. He's the biggest chacham right now here. Biggest tzaddik over here. Uschar And the reward of reading is in his hands. Aval usvara. But in thinking and creating ideas, you have to have brains. Enakol shavimba. Not everyone is compared to this. To speech, anyone speaks. Person knows things, doesn't know things, also speaks. But to ideas, understanding, you have to have brains. Not everyone has brains. Hashem says, that's important for me. Just your speech is the words of my Torah. Not every person's thoughts, brains, is ready to, to create nice ideas. Now I'm finishing with you guys. I'm finishing the bottom line. One more time, even though you're just beginning, even though for the first time in your life you're putting tefillin, even though for the first time in your life you're reading Tehillim or Gemara or Alakha or Chumash, even though for the first time you start learning new page, new learning Gemara or the Zara, whatever you're doing, you think, eh, hey, come on, my learning, I'm barely reading from Zoom, I'm barely learning from English book or from this book or from that book, I just said, stop. 
You think about it you're that way. You're the one halacha learning about Shacharit or Micha or Arvit or one line Gemara reading. is not less than La Moshe Fashter himself. It's not less than Moshe Abedo himself. It's important. Why are you thinking your value so low? Upatpatia do oraita tavin. The formula of my mouth should be the words of your Torah. Amar lo. Hashem said to Moshe Benu, don't say chaya. I want chava. I want speech. Why speech? Because speaks, everybody speaks. Even person doesn't know nothing speaks. A small kid speaks. For me, this small kid is like a big rabbi. The small beginner. Person does no Torah, just begin for For me, it's a big world. Hashem says, I created the world for this guy. That's what this is why I'm saying, everyone is holding the world. Don't low, don't undervalue yourself. Don't underestimate yourself. Every one of you is great. I want you to know this. You know this? You know how happy you get? No matter, you're driving, one Italian guy pulls up and says, F you! I'm almost starting to question you out. He smiles and says, hey, my friend, because I say what I need today, because I put feeling today, you're driving on the land and not in the ocean. <laughs> so you're happy because you know because of you is breathing, walking around breathing. Once you know this, you'll never be upset. You'll never look down at yourself. You'll be always happy. I'm the one. Who is a partner with Hashem and not him. That's what you need to know. Amar lo. Hashem said to Moshe. We can. Tikilen chaya. Hashem said. Moshe Rabbein says. Hashem. Kol chaya. Why kol chava? Shehu. Shaykh yoter le em kol chai. Because chaya is em kol chai. Mother of all the living. Umikol makom nishmami nanami. Shadibur hu yoter ikar. And okay. With this I also know that speech is important. Shareh achiluk sheesh ben achayim uven amitim. Yadibur. Because the difference between life and death is speech. And also, Uncle said, and man is the soul of speaking. The speech. You speak, that's also life. So, call it Chaya, why call Chava speech itself? You know, Mispar Katan Em Kol Chai means? Hashem says, even the smallest, even the smallest. It's not an actual gematria happening here. No, it's not gematria. We're not talking about gematria here. Even the smallest Hashem says is great to me. We'll see right now. Im hayiti korela chaya. Hashem says, if I will call her chaya, original speech, 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 which is life. When you have speech, which is life, a rabbi learning Torah, big rabbi, big time, chacham learning Torah, he knows how to learn. He knows how to open Gemara. He knows how to read. He knows how to explain. He knows. He knows. So he gives like, I would think, aha, uh -huh, I don't know how 100% to do. Let me, open, let me not open Gemara. Why am I wasting time? Torah says, wrong. R you got it wrong. Why? Even though you're not 100%, you're 3%, 5%. You're opening Hashem says, it's not less than that high. Therefore Hashem didn't call her Chaya, called Chava. I'm not looking for life, Hashem says. I'm looking for speech. Let's see one more time. Vazeti let's lo chava. Mispar katan em kol chai. Imaiti kore. No life. Speech. Imaiti kore la chaya. Hashem says, listen carefully to understand, guys. One person talks, brother. Imaiti kore la chaya. If I would call her chaya, mashma dibur shalem. Means perfect speech. Who has perfect speech? Big time is Chacham. His learning costs perfect speech. That gives life. The hainuk shadam ye gadol. Person is great. We save him by Torah Karaui. He knows how to give and take in Torah properly. Azadibur maybe Chaim. His speech brings life. I would say, aha! If person learns Torah the way he gives and takes in Torah, good, strongly, he gives life. That's what Hashem looking for. But person who's just beginning, that's nothing. This is what I would think so. I would think that's only important in front of Hashem. But when the child is small, or oh, older person who's just beginning Chosei B'Tshuva, he's also considered like child. And he speaks, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And his mother educating him, or his rabbi educating him, he's beginning 
to become Chosei B'Tshuva, Haiti Romer she'en dibur v'chinuch ze chashur l'fnei ha'makom. I would think this education is not so important for the Vashem. It's the beginning only. Lekach kara chava. The Vashem said, no, her name is not Chaya life, perfect, perfect. Chava, speech, regular, even beginning speech. Kelomar, kol zman she'yidaber b'Torah, any time you speak of Torah, beginning, mistakes happening. Still, yiye mi sheye katano gadol. Will be perfect. Doesn't matter. He's small or big. Hu chashuv be'enei ha'makom. That is important in front of Hashem. Ulchen nakad mispar katan. Therefore it says, mispar katan. The number of small ones. Means, she'adra ba'ha'olam omed. Oh, opposite. Adra ba, opposite. Ha'olam omed. The world is standing. Al hevel ha'tinokot she'u hevel she'en bochet. The world is standing on the air of speech of small children who don't know what they're saying because their mouth did not taste any sin. So you would think, why am I teaching these kids all of bed? They barely know, they barely read, they barely, uh, they don't know how to pray, they don't know. Wrong! <laughs> why am I studying to Jose Bishuwa? It's very hard for me. Wrong! Hashem says, your mouth. Is spiritual for me. I'm not looking for perfect speech. I'm looking for speech of Torah. You speak of Torah, that the greatest. And I'm going to repeat one more time. She'ad Rabbah, opposite. Ha'olam omed, the world is standing. Al hevel atinokot. And the air that comes out from the mouth of the children. She'u hevel she'en bochet. That is the air, the speech of innocence. There's no sin taste. They never tasted sin. It's good. Brought in Gemara Shabbat page 119b. Therefore, but Moshe Shabbat said, Hashem, call her Chaya, call her life, call Chava life because it's speech, perfect speech. Hashem said, no, he's Chava, no Chaya. I'm not looking for perfect speech, perfect Tamit Chacham. Even the beginning, even the small child who's just starting to learn, the sweet tongue, even though he makes mistakes. That's what I'm looking for. Now, I want to finish up with a statement that also brought in Gemara Shabbat. It says, Mipi olelim ve'yonekim yisad ta'oz. Because of the mouth of the small babies who speak sweet, sweet tongue, even though they say not vayomel, vayomel, Hashem, el vayshelemo, they sweet, they talk sweet, we think, oh, you know, maybe it's not Yotze, because he's not saying fully everything, no, Hashem says, that's what, mi pi olelim v'yon kim yisata oz, when Moshe Rabbeinu said, Hashem, give the Torah to elders, Hashem said, no, but when Moshe Rabbeinu said, babies, the sweet tongue of the babies, that what caused us to get the Torah, mi pi olelim v'yon kim yisata oz, Hashem brought down, Moshe Rabbeinu got the Torah, because of the mouth sweet talk of the children but in this generation it doesn't mean that children also it means any person who just become Jose Bichuba he prays he prays wrong he says different words he says different statements of course he learns that he doesn't learn he learns but just for him to get to learn takes a while a little bit but he shouldn't think oh my prayer is not no his prayers is not even less than any other big rabbi's prayers don't stop you should be confident and know because of you the world is standing. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. 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 Am